So we'll start off with getting the model and the animations. You're going to want to go to your Recomps game folder and find the archive files. So in your Recomp folder, game, and then this will be all your files. So you want to scroll down until you find Sonics. So this is what we're looking for. Now you're going to want to grab each archive separately and drag and drop them on the hedge arc pack. It'll start extracting, and you'll get a Sonic folder. Make sure you do both in case you miss anything. Said Sonic folder will be in your game directory, or wherever your archives were. Inside is most of Sonic's assets and data. So you got textures, models, animations. I've gone ahead and moved my Sonic folder just so it's more convenient. And so for this example, we're going to be using Sonic's jet animation. So you got to find the animation. The animation files will be .anm.hkx. So in here, we have the damage dash, and we just go a little bit more down, we'll find a jet animation. So jog, jet, whatever you want to edit, grab it. In this case, I'll be grabbing his jet animation. Either copy or just drag it in here. Then you also want his skeleton, Sonic root .hkx. And we take that and we put it in the source. Now all we do is run the resave metadata.bat. It's just meta, but that's my bad. So you'll run that, it'll do its thing, it'll convert it, and then in the output folder, you should have your animation and your skeleton. The skeleton is important. So is the animation, but the skeleton is really important. And then it'll put stuff in here, ignore this. Now, for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna drag and drop the model file into the output folder, and now we're gonna run Ripping Tools GUI. Now when you first open Ripping Tools GUI, it's gonna look like this. Don't worry about these two tabs right now. Right now we're only worried about Model FBX. So in the Convert Your Model tab, or section, you gotta put your model file and the skeleton file. And the animation file has to be in the same directory as those two. All three files must be in the same directory. And then in the settings, you do default and convert animations. And if you don't wanna use the model file, even though you still need it, click this. I'm going to be using the model file just for demonstrational purposes. So, you want to find it in your output folder. So, here's the model in my output folder. Then, my skeleton. And it has to be the converted one. It cannot be the base one. Otherwise, it won't work in Blender. Here it is. Click convert. And it'll do its thing. Since I only have one animation, it's already done. And now, wherever those are, there'll be a Libens log, sometimes, and then a converted folder. In said converted folder is your file. If you did it right, and you're not stupid like me, and you use the model, you can double click this, and when it opens, you should see Sonic. And as you can see, we're using his jet animation. And if you're wondering what that big line is on him, that's his mouth. That's a caveat of this. Mouth animations will not work, or they work, but they do not display in Blender. And in Blender, it's very hard to edit them, at least with this skeleton, because it messes up the mouth, clearly. But this does not reflect in-game. So if your animation is playing here, you're golden. Now we can import this in Blender. So now that we're in Blender, first thing you always do, delete everything in the scene, and now we go to import, and you import an FBX. Once you find your file, you can just go ahead and import it. But if you want, the armature um, orientation is gonna be a bit messed up. So if you really want, you can go in here and change these two. Uh, show the game banana page right now because I can't remember the exact values. <laughs> Anyways, you then import the FBX, and then there you go, There's there he is. So now you go to the animation tab, and it, it all works, it's all working. But the thing is, You'll notice pretty quickly if you've used Blender, these are in between frames here. That's 35, that's 34, that's right there. And to fix that, we're just gonna stretch it out and snap it to the keyframe. So go to frame one or frame zero, whatever your first frame is, and then press S, stretch it. Uh, I usually just do this much, doesn't really matter. So I somehow managed to cut this out of the video, so this is post video. So you stretch this out, and I forgot to mention, you're supposed to right click, click snap, and then snap to nearest frame. 
That's all you gotta do. Then you match it to the total frame count. Back to back post because I suck at explaining this for some reason. So the frame count is 81 frames. Most of the running is 81 frames in total. So my timeline starts at one. So if your timeline starts at zero, you have to go to 80 instead of 81. And that's because it starts at zero instead of one, you know, dumb nerd stuff. And also for those of you wondering, the wall running is half of the normal length. So it would be 41. And now you're free to edit it as you please. So now every frame is lined up and you can edit it however you want. So now I'm gonna cut and just go to when I'm done because <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. So now that you're done animating, hopefully, uh, take a one last gander at it, I guess, you know, here you go. Uh, what I did was the Marzo run animation or at least a uh, half recreation of it. And so here you go, look at that. Anyways, now you go to file, export, FBX, and you export it wherever you want. I'm gonna export it here into my Havoc animation exporter. And here are the settings you want. So copy these. So in object types, so include object types, mesh and armature only. Then for scale, you can leave it at one, or if you're gonna keep this at all scale, you can set it to 0.01. Otherwise leave it at one and then set this to FBX unit scale. Then Go to armature, add leaf bones, unchecked. Then if you edited the primary bone or secondary bone uh, axis, you gotta change that here too. Otherwise, name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it uh, this, cause that's what I saved the blender file as. <laughs> and then uh, I'll show you how to get it in game. So now here's an important step. You need to go back to your output folder and your uh, HKX converter, grab the skeleton that's converted. So out of the output folder, grab the skeleton and either drag and drop or copy it, the Havoc animation exporter. Then with both of those here, you can do that, but I'm personally gonna use this, which is one I usually do. So I'm gonna break this down real quick and then we're gonna drag and drop. So Havoc animation exporter is just the application. Then quote, percentage uh, tilde one quote that is the exact file technically it's a string of the exact file you drag and dropped including the directory and everything so for those of you wondering and then dash dash skl is the skeleton so that's why you drag and drop this one then dash u makes it uncompressed that increases the file size by a lot but these are kilobytes so nobody cares <laughs> and if you're having jitters or the character's freaking out randomly, turn this on, should go away. It's gone away every time I've done it at least, so. And then dash F is the FPS. So whatever number comes after that will be your FPS. Base is 60. For an example, you can set it to 30, your animation will be 30. Be 30 FPS in game. This is the file I'm gonna be using. So you grab your FPS and then drag and drop it onto the bat. Once it's done, you should get the FBX name dot anm dot hkx. And now that you have that, here's the easiest part of the entire thing. So now we're gonna test it in game. And we're not done yet, we still need to see if it works in game. So, if you don't already have a mod file set up and ready to go, then I'm gonna show you. So, new mod lol. That, that's, our, that's our mod file right there. So go in here, you gotta make a new, you can do text document, and then only requirement is it's gotta be mod.ini. That way it's an ini file. So then after you make that, go ahead and edit it. And so I'm just gonna fill this out real quick. And now that I filled it out, if you want, you can take notes. Here you go. The whole thing. I'm pretty sure that's my hero as well. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Oops. And then save it. Once it's saved, go in here make a folder and the way we're gonna test it in game without making the archive yet is by using a work folder so make a work folder go into said work folder make a new folder and name it sonic or whatever your archive name is so if you're using the werehog it'll be evil sonic or sonic evil i can't remember <laughs> anyways make said folder go into the folder then all you need to do Grab your animation, and you can either copy or just drag and drop. And after you drag and dropped it, 
you have to have the name of the animation you're trying to replace. So in this case, I already know it by heart because I've replaced this thing like four times. <laughs> so for us, it's the jet animation. So Sonic underscore jet. If you're doing the uh, left or right, you have to have underscore L or, you know, underscore wall underscore L, you know, stuff like that. So otherwise, know the name, change the name. Once the name is changed, we go to the Hedge Mod Manager and refresh your list. So in this case, I named it Custom Jet. Whatever you named it will show up here. And if it doesn't show up here, you messed up the .ini file. Now we test it in game. Here we go! And so now that we're in game, here it is. The animation's working. So now I'm going to show you how to make an archive. So you can either rename, you know what, we'll rename this. This just saves us a step. So now you take this, you drag and drop it onto arrowpack.exe from Skith Tools. The plus makes it an append archive, and append archives only need what you modified. Otherwise you have to put everything back in. Anyways, now that you have those, go ahead and put it in your mod directory and get rid of your work folder. Don't hard delete it, just soft delete it, put it in recycle bin. And then once it's like that, test it again. Make sure it works, works. And then if it works, roll the montage. 